Hi, my special friends. Today, this is the start of something new and uh, everything we start new is always very exciting, is it not? When you start something new, it's exciting, right? Um, I mean, this is the kickoff of our Inspirational Thought Thursday. So, you have been a member of this hot part global nation for a little while, um, I guess, or maybe you just joined recently. And uh, what I realized is some of you have been really active in this community and shared your insights, shared your questions um, and supported each other. And that's great. And what I really realized and also what my team said to me is, Monique, come on, you know, you should, uh, you should step up and you should uh, be seen and you should connect with people more. And it's so true. I mean, the Hot Power Global Nation is our space where we you know, connect with each other, you know, I mean, you are probably an amazing coach, trainer, speaker, consultant, business owner, and of course you're facing challenges every single time. And as a lot of people that come to us and work with us on our programs, they say, well, you know what, uh, me growing my business is quite challenging. You know, sometimes it's, uh, it's a lonely journey. This is why we brought this hot power global nation together because you are a hot powered entrepreneur you want to get out there you want to share your voice in a greater way you would love to get visible more you would love to touch more lives with your amazing work you'd love to you know uh, grow your income and uh, this is why we brought the community together because we believe that if you speak up you share your voice in a greater way you get more visible you know, that's a great way for you to step up with your business, um, attract more clients, uh, raise your income and make a bigger impact in the world as, you know, as so many people here um, in our Heart Power Global Nation are doing. And uh, this is why we thought every Thursday at this time at 2 p.m. CET, I'll be here with you. And uh, I'd like to connect with you. I'd like to inspire you. I'd like to hear what questions you have. And uh, I just uh, love to, you know, connect with you and get to know you and exchange with you in a greater way. And uh, so today we're going to kick this off and it's great to have you with us. So what we'll talk about today is something a lot of people keep asking me all the time. And that is, they say, Monique, how can I get more visible? How can I, you know, get more heard and seen out there so that I can share my wisdom in a greater way? And so today, as our kickoff topic, we, we're going to speak about how you start beating procrastination. Because I believe that the greatest villain and enemy and, and killer of being visible out there is really, the, you know, uh, is procrastination. And... Uh, you know, uh, many coaches and speakers and trainers and consultants, they are not always, you know, uh, stepping up and, and sharing, you know, their wisdom and their knowledge as much as they could out there. You know, a lot of them have amazing methods and tools and have developed amazing frameworks and have a lot of experience and their clients love them. They love working with them. They get great results and still they feel sometimes it's, you know, they feel like they don't have enough clients or they, they say, well, it's actually hard to run after clients and to attract new clients, especially in the current times. And uh, they say, well, you know what? I don't even know where my next clients should come from. Or they say uh, things like, oh, I don't, I love to do the work with my clients, but I'm, I, I don't like marketing and selling so much, or I'm not a good marketer, or I'm not a good salesperson. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and there's many, many reasons why they feel like, you know, they, they, they're overworked and, and underpaid. Um, and I don't know if, you know, uh, I don't know where you are with this. You know, why is it so hard? for so many entrepreneurs to really share their message with the world in a greater way where their whole business is built around that. So the reason why it's so hard for many is because they're not really stepping out there as much. Um, they're not really sharing their voice and in the, you know, in, a, in the way that they could. They're not sharing their message in the way they could, uh, neither on social media or in other ways. 
and uh, I, I don't know what about you I'd like to hear more about you know where you are with this and uh, I you know I'd like you to really um, you know ask yourself like what would it mean to you if you would step up more if you would share your voice more if you would get more visible uh, on social media if you would start showing yourself on YouTube like you know one of our clients recently said she said oh you know what I was always hesitant on stepping up and showing myself on video and she started uh, creating videos um, and she said oh my god it changed everything now I feel more confident to share what I have to give now I you know people start commenting people start reaching out to me you know I start having conversations you know it, it makes all the difference so the question really is you know for yourself what would it mean to you if you would step up more if you would get more visible if you would share your insights your your stories your experience your expertise with the world in a greater way and as you know I mean 2020 is a year where we are not traveling as much so there is a lot of speaking happening online and uh, you know a lot of our clients as well that are even speakers or even singers right I mean they cannot be out there on stage so much but the good news is there's so many stage time opportunities online that you can use so what is holding you back really to step up in greater ways what are your reasons why, why do you procrastinate and uh, you know but before we go in that ask yourself really what would it mean to you and your business if you would share your voice more your insights your wisdom you know in greater ways online so people know that you are there you know people know what you can do how you could support them and so on so you know what would it mean to you if you would step up and what would it mean to your business do you you know what would it mean to you if instead of you running after potential clients they would start coming to you right what, what would that mean to you and uh, you know what would it mean if you would you know in this way attract more clients and you would uh, be able to serve more of them and you would really uplift them and touch more lives what would that mean to you is it worth finally beating procrastination and you know what it's really interesting but a friend of mine her name is Issa de Charon Issa if you're watching uh, it's always great to have you so in her amazing inspiring community where she helps people brand their business um, you know using their own you know being themselves and being unique she put a poll into her community and she asked like what, what are the greatest challenges you're facing right now and people said oh I'm not visible enough or I don't know where to find my right clients and you know what they said their number one was procrastination they wanted to learn how to beat procrastination and uh, as you know we help uh, entrepreneurs to really step up becoming more visible speak up with their voice um, and, and you know step up with their business um, you know we need to beat procrastination of being visible in the first place right so you know what are your reasons you know I, I would like to also hear on the comments hear from you you know how much do you feel you're out there how much are you really sharing your voice you know how consistent are you with sharing your message and uh, you know if you are like many out there including myself sometimes we are sometimes hiding a little bit too much behind our screen um, you know what, what is holding you back why are you procrastinating and there is probably about you know thousands and more reasons you know under the sun of why people procrastinate right so um, you know some reason is that people don't even you know have any you know clear intention or they have don't have a clear reason why they should step up they're not very conscious of that or they haven't set themselves very clear goals of what it means for them to become more visible or even if they have concrete clear goals like you know I would like to grow my mailing list or I'd like to have more stage time opportunities or I'd like to attract more clients or whatever the reason is they they, they want to get more visible um, often they don't have a concrete plan to say what should I you know what should I do actually to uh, to step up right um, and even if they have a plan often they are not focused enough to to fulfill their plan because they're busy there's always other things we are working on right 
or they say, you know, like recently um, we asked our clients on our uh, business uh, growth programs, um, you know, when you want to step up with uh, growing, uh, with getting more heard and seen and give your visibility a boost, what's in the way? And, you know, a lot of them said, oh, I don't have the time to really go out there on a regular basis, right? And all of these things are really good reasons. And uh, what I have found out with my clients is that um, and in conversation with many entrepreneurs around the world is um, it's not always necessarily the tactical things or the concrete steps that are missing. It's more what we think or what we feel. You know, the subconscious things that we are often not even aware of that hold us back from stepping up in a greater way. So what, what are these things like? You know, a lot of people are afraid. They're simply afraid and they say, oh, oh my God, what if people judge me or people see that know me and they don't like what I'm saying and then maybe it has a negative impact on our relationship or they speak negatively about me or anything like that. It's these kind of fears that people have or also, you know, some people say, oh, am I good enough? You know, uh, do, I, do I even have something valuable to share with the world that... You know, would people even be interested? You know, if I would do it, would it be good enough? Because I'm a person of high standards, right? And I'm sure you are, and I am, right? And our clients are, and I know everyone here in the community has very high standards of what we want to deliver. And we are afraid that what we are giving is not good enough. Um, you know, or we think like it's not perfect. Like, you know, first I create like 30 draft videos and maybe then I can share one. So the thing is, like uh, what I did with one of my clients recently is I, I invited her to step out of her, you know, out of her comfort zone. And uh, what we agreed is that for some just simply a week, she would every day record a little video, you know, just no matter if she was uh, dressed up or had put makeup on or anything like this. And, you know, she took this challenge seriously and every day she recorded a video just a week. And guess what? At the end of the week, she felt comfortable. And she is anyhow, you know, an amazing stage, uh, you know, and, and video lady. Anyhow, we, you know, I love her energy. I love her charisma. I love her message. You know, it's all these fears inside of ourselves. And what I realize is a lot of people are just always asking the wrong questions. You know, they, they just say, you know, as I said, like, you know, do I have something valuable to say or... Do I, you know, is it good enough or can I even do it? Am I even a video person? And asking all these questions is definitely going to have one result. We never going to get going, right? So um, let's look at the three top questions that you definitely never want to ask. And if you stop turning them around in encouraging questions, cheerleading questions, then you will Beat procrastination finally, you will start stepping up. People will start noticing more. They will reach out to you. They will want to work with you. So you attract more amazing clients more easily. And eventually you'll touch more lives, make more money and make a bigger impact with your amazing business and your amazing work. So what are these critical questions? So the first one I mentioned already, right? The first one is really the question, do I have anything valuable to say? You know, do I have anything to share with the world? Well, you know, the thing is, if you wouldn't, you would never be in a conversation with someone. Or if you were in a conversation with someone, no one would continue the conversation with you, right? So I'm sure you have something valuable to share with people. And you know what? I'm sure this life, I mean, I don't know how old you are. We have people at all ages within our community. And again, no matter what age you are, um, you, I'm sure you already have a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. And often people come to me because we're also supporting people to step up with their speaking. And they say, well, Monique, I'm still pretty young. You know, I don't know if, if they want to have young people like me on stage. But there's always people, you know, that are behind what you have gone through in your life. So every single one has a message. So what I invite you to ask instead of, do I have something to share? Rather ask the question, what is it that I have to share? What is it that people 
you know, love to engage me in a con conversation with? What are things that people ask me for advice on? You know, well, what are things that I love speaking about? And when I speak in a group of people, you know, they just love to listen to me for a long time. And they keep asking me if I can help them with something. So ask yourself, what are the things you know that could be valuable for others? And maybe even start creating a list of all the things you know that you realize others are asking you about. You definitely have experience, knowledge, wisdom and expertise that others would really love to learn more about, right? And uh, the second question really is, well, would anyone like to learn from me? Would anyone like to hear this or watch this? Well, I can tell you a little story about my own life. Um, about eight years ago, I, you know, I was working with a mentor because I believed that having a mentor is always bringing ourselves and our business to a different level. And when I was working with that mentor about eight years ago, um, she challenged me to start a podcast. And I, you know, at the time I didn't even know much about what, po what a podcast is. And, uh, you know, she said, Monique, you really need to get heard and seen more. And, uh, you know what? I, I said, okay, you know what? I'll just embrace it. I, I try it out and see what happens. And eventually I launched a podcast eight years ago. And, uh, you know, I worked hard on, on putting it all together and uh, and then I went on holidays and while I was actually, it was not just a holidays, it was my honeymoon actually. You know, the night before I left for my honeymoon, I worked through the whole night to get the podcast ready and then I jumped onto the plane. And then, you know, a couple of days later, um, you know, the, pod, the first podcast got streamed. And I remember as if it was today, I was sitting like in a backyard of a beautiful restaurant in Thailand. You know, I got married actually in Thailand at a beautiful beach. And, uh, you know, and, and my husband grabbed my phone and he said, oh my God, Monique, you're on, you know, it's streamed. Um, and within a couple of minutes, really, we, you know, I had about a hundred listeners. And I said to him, well, where do these people come from? You know, I've never, I, I, you know, no one knows me right now, right? So the thing is, and, and I get so many lovely comments from people and guess what? Five, six months later, I had about 20,000 listeners. Um, and I never thought this would be possible, but if I wouldn't have taken a leap of faith and said, what do I, what do I know I can share with people? And by the way, on my podcast, I even interviewed others. So I didn't even have to bring all the wisdom on when I started out. But the thing is, there's always someone that wants to hear your message. Right. And, you know, shortly after I went to a conference and there was this lady I didn't know. And she approached me and she said, oh, my God, Monique, I only came to the conference because I, you know, I, I really always follow your podcast. And, uh, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to get to know you again. The thing is, when we share something, you know, we we just trust that at least one person will get inspired by what we have to share, right? Like there's this other little story where I uh, I once spoke at a at a uh, at a workshop in uh, Sweden, and uh, you know the workshop was about how do you go professional with your speaking, and uh, you know and there was a lady that approached me afterwards and we had a lovely coffee chat, and to be honest for a while I forgot about her. And then about nine months later, I got a message from her on Facebook where she said, Monique, uh, you might not recall our conversation we had and you know, I was at your workshop. However, that conversation and that workshop you gave just triggered something inside of me. So I gave up the job in Sweden I didn't like and I went back home to Australia and I started a business and I started to speak as well. And oh my God, I just live my current life right now. You know, the thing is, when you share something, you might not always be aware of what kind of ripple effects you are creating. But you can trust that there are amazing ripple effects being created. Right. So I would like to ask you, you know, to, to really switch the question from, hey, will there be anyone to listen to me? The moment you share your voice. You can be 100% certain that someone will read it or watch it or listen to what you're sharing. And ask yourself the empowering question instead. 
you know what if you only you know if what if you share something and only one person gets inspired takes action and it has an impact on their life would that be worth it already right and again there's uh, thank you jessica for asking you asked me like what happened to that podcast well we kept it up every single week for two years and then I stopped it and I took a little bit of a break. And uh, But what we're doing today is we run our weekly interviews with inspiring entrepreneurs every week, which are our heart powered inspiring interviews, which uh, we will stream as of next week on every Tuesday in our heart powered global nation. So watch out for those, everyone. So thanks for asking, Jessica. It's a powerful question. So, but again, you know, um, yeah, so, you know, this is a question you want to turn around the second question. Is there anyone that listens into what if I only touch one heart or one life with what I'm sharing? Is that not worth it already? And my answer always will be yes. Right. And the third question is uh, a lot of people ask, can I do it? You know, am I a video person? I mean, how can, you know, I don't even know. And uh, they make it harder for themselves asking that question because if they've never done it before, asking the question is not going to give them an answer, right? So what you want to do is again, turn that question that holds you back into a question where you ask, how can I make it happen? And you can add an even more powerful question, which is how can I, or what could be the next concrete step and how can I take that? Right? So again, you know, if you say that, and I would really like to know what would you like to do more of to really get more visible out there? Would you like to write more posts or would you maybe also start Facebook lives or would you, you know, love to be on video more or what would you do to share your message in a greater way with amazing people out there? And, uh, you know, and then when you know what you want to do, like, uh, you know, a lot of people that work with us, they want to step out and speak more. Again, what is the first step you can take to go out there and speak more, right? Or to create videos or, or write about something. First of all, a suggestion I already made earlier is start creating a list of what are all the topics you are an expert on that you feel others would love to learn more about, right? Or another step could be that, you know, you, you speak to someone that has done it before, that you admire, that you appreciate, that you see they're doing it reach out to them and find out, you know, how can you do it too? People are very generous to share their insights and knowledge and wisdom with others. So reach out. And again, by the way, my door is always open. If you want to have a quick chat on how you can step up with your visibility, you know, if you want to have a quick chat about that or what concrete next steps you could take or what could be a good topic you could talk about or where you could start, you know, just again, under this video, just either put a little post and say, yes, love to have a chat or yes, please. Um, or you just reach out. I know not everyone is comfortable posting publicly. Just reach out and, and direct message me on Facebook and say, hey, I'd love to have a quick chat. I'm very happy to stick my hands together with you on what you can do in a concrete way next. Okay. So, you know, these are pretty much the three questions that you want to avoid. And I would love to you know, just uh, share with you the ones that I would love to uh, you to ask. The first one is, what could I speak about that could be valuable for others? The second question is, what if I would only touch one life? Would that be worth me stepping up and beating my procrastination in the end? And the last question is again, what is a concrete next step I can take to get going to finally beat procrastination? And um, you know, here's a bonus question that a lot of people ask, and I really would love you to turn that around. And the question is, is it worth it? Right? Is it worth all the time and effort and me putting things together? Right? I mean, when I started my podcast, it took me about a week almost to get my first podcast together. Eventually I cut it down to just two, three hours a week. And then, you know, had other people that would help us put it out there. Right? So, the question is, is it worth it? The answer is absolutely yes. Because, you know, again, going back to my podcast example, when I started podcasting, oh my God, so many doors opened. As I said, people came to me and said, oh my God, Monique, I wanted to meet you. I've gained, you know, clients from it. I 
opened incredible doors. I was invited into networks that are pretty exclusive that I didn't even know existed, where I'm, you know, a really great member today. And, you know, I, I really met amazing people in this way. You know, it opened me up stage time opportunities and so much more. So yes, you beating your procrastination and stepping up by asking encouraging, empowering questions makes all the difference, right? So now my question for you is, is it worth it for you? Is it worth it for you to start thinking about, you know, what is my next step that I could take to beat my procrastination and really step up and share something in a greater way, right? And uh, as you know me, I'm someone I love to turn learning into doing right away. So whenever I, I read a book, I think like, what from the book could I really do differently right away? Or when I work with a mentor, I, I think like, what can I implement right away to see results very fast? So in this case, I would like to invite you to take one action today after you watch this and you just ask yourself, what is the one next step you will take? to step up, to get more visible, to get more heard and seen, to attract your great clients and to share with the world the amazingness and brilliance you hold that you could touch their life with, that you could make an impact to make them more, you know, make them feel more healthy or happy or vibrant or joyful or whatever you do with your business, right? And, uh, you know, um, also, so here's, you know, my invitation for you. Think about what is your step? and then make a public commitment, right? Put underneath here, you know, uh, in the comment, what is your concrete next step that you will take in concrete ways, okay? And I have some good news for you as well that, watch out, I and my amazing team, by the end of this month, uh, next month actually, end of November, we will do something with you that will definitely boost your visibility big time. So watch out for that. In the next couple of weeks, you'll hear from us more about this. And, uh, you know, also, as I said, if you're not a member of one of our programs yet and you really want to step up with your visibility, just reach out and let me know and we can arrange a quick chat to see what it could be the next steps for you in concrete ways. So I hope that I could inspire you and, and you know, I love to see what you're going to do with this. And, uh, you know, as we suggested and... You know, as we promised actually pretty much is that from now on every Thursday I will be back with you okay every Thursday I'll be here answering your questions hopefully also sharing some powerful hints and tips right and uh, you know and I really look forward to you know to connect with you in a greater way get to know you support you and uh, you know see you take wings, wings, spread your wings and really step up with getting more visible, with attracting more clients more easily, with bringing your amazing work into the world in a greater way, you making more money, touching more lives and making a bigger impact. So we can make that Im bigger impact together. So I look forward to hear from you and exchange with you in the meantime and I look forward to hear what your next steps will be. And uh, I wish you just an amazing Thursday. Friday weekend and just keep an eye out. We are here for you, with you and uh, I look forward to be back with you live next week Thursday. All the best until then. Bye for now.